Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. So I figured out the other day that you can basically open up this command prompt in the Dead Island 2 Alpha that lets you teleport to places, spawn weapons and vehicles, and even go to a completely different map. Uh, this is weird. I guess the developers decided they wanted to set up their own little playground to mess around with and probably balance all the weapons before, you know, it got cancelled. Oh, okay, a golf car. I haven't seen that yet. Hey. Not sure why the car respawned and changed colors, but hey, okay. Uh, oh, what the fuck? Come on. Damn. It's raining blood over here, I guess. I love their dance routine they got going on over there. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, fuck, what the hell? Hey, 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 what the fuck? Ah, oh, come on. I brought this up in my last video too, but I think one of the best things this version of Dead Island 2 had going for it is the weapon variety. Each weapon really stands out, and each one looks fucking awesome, even though the kill doesn't look maybe the greatest on the zombie part, but hey, it looks cool anyways. I feel like when you hit the zombies sometimes the connection is just kinda weird. Hey, they even got DLC weapons here, look at that, huh? Ah, and now I've been able to find my way into what would have become the tutorial world for Dead Island 2, I assume. You wake up in a cinematic with a random burst of blood with an exploding plane in the distance and stuff falling out of the sky. And there's no sound effects, so it makes it even weirder. But honestly, I think it's pretty cool actually seeing animation instead of just spawning there and being all weirded out and not knowing what to do, which is just how it normally spawn. But honestly, it's pretty cool seeing this completely different side of the game. It's completely different, for real. There's a whole new world out there with new stuff to explore even if a lot of it isn't even textured. I do feel like this world is honestly a lot more done though compared to the beach side that we get in the other spawning area. And honestly, it kind of saddens me a little bit. Because I think I'm actually kind of starting to like it a little bit. This side of the game opens up completely new sections with new vehicles, zombie types, places to explore, weapons, people to talk to. And honestly, it's really cool and way better than the beach side that we got to see before. I do have to say, at times this game does look pretty damn good, and then at other times it re really does not, but it's fair, it's not done, but, you know, when you walk past the building and it has walls, and the other one doesn't have walls, and it just kind of throws you off a bit. Man, oh man, this is what would have been Dead Island 2. Sometimes it's just nice to get a good look and view of what would have been it, and, uh, that's kind of cool. Gotta give it props, you really do. Holy shit, I guess this game decided just to throw a bunch of runners at me all of a sudden, and it's pretty cool seeing a bunch of zombies running at you at once and you having to use both weapons. I wish you can kind of do wield like you can in this game and die in life. Ah. If there's like a modder watching this video for whatever reason, hey, take notes, please, seriously, make this happen. Do wield mod for dying light. Oh, you'll get so many downloads. Make it happen. Really? Alright, you know what? For whatever reason, I feel really fucking obligated to climb the goddamn crab, and I'm gonna do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Haha. <laughs> Fuck yeah, zombies. Glad I found one of these again. Alright, I already know everything's basically a one-hit kill, but I might as well give these fuckers the kick of fury. I deserve way more powers to be justified with my playthrough. Hmm, <laughs> let's try this. It's worth a try. Oh shit, oh shit! This just completely changed the game right here. Now that the command prompt basically unlocks whole new features that can basically make your experience 10 times better. Fucking A. Even exploring outside of the map, there's a lot to look at here and it's really surprising. And the sounds really help too. Pull it all together and make it all stand out. They definitely made some interesting decisions designing these buildings in the distance. They look fine from the ground, but up here flying, it looks fucking odd. You know, for some reason I really expected there to be a road here, and I don't know why, but it's okay. It honestly looks huge from the ground. 
My opinions on Dead Island 2 haven't changed too much, but honestly, seeing this side of the game really does open my eyes a little bit to what it really would have become. I remember the 2014 Gamescom footage, I remember seeing it back then, and honestly, it just really didn't feel like Dead Island to me. It felt like a completely different game with vibes of Sunset Overdrive, which I know I wasn't out at the time, but seriously, it just didn't feel like the same game at all. And I know, it's a sequel. Sequels are always going to be different either way you want to look at it. But still though, you feel like it should be a little bit reminiscent to the first game. And there still should be some type of attachment, not just it being on an island. Even though, it's on an island, but it's more of a whole goddamn country if you think about it. But hey, that's just my opinion. Always be free to let me know yours in the comment section below and we can maybe chat about it a little bit. And thanks for stopping by, I always appreciate it, and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see more content like this. And eh, thanks for watching, see ya.